what's going on my friends? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Men Millennial. In this video, we're going to talk about the 31 states that have been approved for $281 to $1,691 in max snap emergency allotments arriving in the month of December. We're also going to discuss which states were approved for $391 PEBT, as well as what other benefits you can soon expect to head your way in the month of December. We are also going to talk about brand new food benefits being offered to low-income families in Missouri, as well as a new federal bill aimed at helping residents of Kentucky with their home heating bills. And lastly, we're also going to discuss some very important information regarding the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program, among other updates. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons and let's get into this breaking news update regarding the latest SNAP and EBT benefits information. This information changes on an almost daily basis, and it's my job to keep you informed with the latest updates. So make sure you watch every single video and watch all the way through so you don't miss out on the most current information. So regarding the latest states to approve waivers granting emergency allotments through the month of December, we have the following 31 states. Most recently, we added Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, and Guam to our list. In Florida, according to reports, DSNAP's next stop will be in Lee County. Officials have not yet released the dates, but rumors say it will most likely be sometime next week. Hundreds of thousands of low-income Kentuckians are eligible for a federal program to help with their home heating bills as energy prices are expected to be higher in the winter. Yet, those on the front lines of signing up Kentuckians for the program say there are barriers to reaching all who need such assistance. Enrollment to receive assistance through LIHEAP in Kentucky goes until December 16th. Enrollment to receive LIHEAP benefits during a crisis situation begins in January. In the state of Missouri, many residents have been left in the dark as to when they'll receive their long-awaited summer PEBT benefits. In fact, only around 50% of the 440,000 children predicted to be eligible actually received summer 2021 PEBT benefits, according to data provided by the Social Servants Agency. Last year, the Social Servants Agency ran the program and required participants to opt in with an application. However, this time, families do not need to apply to receive the benefits. According to reports, officials previously said the Summer Emergency Food Benefits Program would be dispersed by the end of the year. However, achieving that goal is becoming increasingly unlikely and could very well push into early next year. In the state of Texas, according to the USDA website, you can expect your SNAP emergency allotments to arrive on a staggered basis from December 5th through the 12th. Moreover, Governor Greg Abbott announced that the Texas Health and Human Services Commission has received approval from the U.S. Department of Agriculture for a fifth round of federal PEBT food benefits for Texan families with children who temporarily lost access to federally funded summer meal programs due to COVID-19. For eligible Texans who have not yet received PBT benefits before, you should expect a notice in the mail with a claim code. This code can be used to claim PEBT benefits by going to yourtexasbenefits.com or by calling the PEBT call center at 833-442-1255. Households will have 90 days from the date on the notice to claim their benefits. Child care age children born on or after August 1st, 2015, who receive SNAP food benefits at any time between June and August 2022, will automatically receive PEBT benefits on their Lone Star cards starting in December. They will be mailed a notice with information about their student's benefit amount and do not need to take any action. In the state of California, your December emergency allotments distribution date is still slated for December 17th. Moreover, California has, as always, been approved a month in advance to receive additional food benefits in the first month of 2023. 
Recipients can expect their payments on January 7th for Cal SAWS and January 13th for Cal Win. Now regarding the PBT 3.0 program, California residents can soon expect their PBT cards to be reloaded with a second issuance of benefits in December, reflecting the PBT benefits for the months of January through May 2022. In the state of New York, as you may already know, the governor approved additional food benefits all the way through February 2023. For the month of December in New York City, supplements will be issued December 13th through December 27th, with benefits being available the next day following issuance in most cases. In rest of state districts, supplements will be issued December 12th through December 15th and December 18th through December 22nd. As the holiday season approaches and price hikes from inflation continue, many families across the U.S. are struggling financially. And now that the cold winter months are here, people are looking for a way to keep the heat on and provide food for their families. Each state has a Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program that you can apply to for help getting back on your feet. The TANF program bases eligibility on your income, and it also depends on which state you live in. For example, the maximum monthly gross income limit in Mississippi for a family of three is $680. For California, your family must not have more than $2,250 in income resources. Some other requirements could include having at least one of the following in your family. Someone who is pregnant, a dependent under age 18, or a dependent in college. So how long can I receive TANF assistance? Again, it depends on your state, but in most cases, you can receive TANF assistance for up to 60 months total in your lifetime. Each month you receive assistance will count toward the 60 months. So if one year you use TANF for five months, you'll have 55 months remaining. After you've used all 60 months, states can make the decision to exceed the 60 month limit based on hardship. Now, how do I apply to start getting TANF relief? It all depends on the state you live in. For instance, some states offer an online portal you can apply through, while others still require you to fill out an application and either mail it in or visit an office nearest to you. To get started, visit the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Help for Families webpage. From there, you can select the state you live in which can provide you with the information you need to get started. You should see the state's office address and phone number to reach out with any questions that you might have. Each state has its own website that links out to details about the program that it offers. For example, Kentucky has the Transitional Assistance Program, known as KTAP, and California has the Work Opportunity and Responsibility to Kids, or CalWORKS, program. Some states, like Kansas, even offer a portal where you can check your eligibility online, apply for benefits, and access them online as well. Alright my Mad Mini Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information you might have about your own state SNAP benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link down in the description. All right, guys, stay safe, stay hustling, stay warm, and I will talk to you guys again soon.